my sense with Pisa is that we've if we've got to be we've got to be cautious because the way in which the Pisa rankings are used by governments and by uh, education ministers can sometimes belie the complexity of the of the test and and what actually the results show and I think that it can be for for the electorate and for parents it can be a difficult thing to challenge if an education minister decides that based on the PISA rankings, these radical changes need to happen or this needs to, be, this needs to be finished or the things that parents love or value or that students think are good or that teachers think are good suddenly go because PISA has dictated that they're not what's needed. Um, and I think that it's really difficult for ordinary people who, who don't have the knowledge or the experience or the, or the sense that um, it's for them to challenge uh, that, that I think it's difficult for them to kind of to confront that when they're presented with something like PISA, which says, in the international rankings, we're, that, we're down here. When actually, if you talk to a different set of people that deal with the data, they might have put you somewhere different. Um, so I think it's, it's just that note of caution.